You do not want to miss these next speakers coming up. <laughs> I don't know. When the boss comes up and tells us, that's when we can go, go to lunch. <laughs> All right. For those who are not in the room, guess what? I got a tip for y'all. I'm going to give y'all a secret. I'm going to give you a secret to this business. Because I know that's what you're looking for, right? Y'all looking for that secret. Okay, here's the secret. Not Victoria's secrets. But anyway. <laughs> and by the way, hey, can we have Pam's fiance stand up? <laughs> He's the lucky man. Take good care of my sister. All right. But here's the secret. In order to gauge your performance in this business, guess what needs to happen? You need to make sure. How many people are here on your team? Do you have somebody at these events that's on your team? Because that's how you can start gauging your performance. How many people are on the conference calls? Okay, how many, not just you, but how many of your team members are on the conference calls? Because see, guess what? That's how you know when your business is about to go forward and explode. Can't just be you, so you can't come along. I'm glad you came to this event and made it happen, made the sacrifices, but just remember, to gauge your performance in any business, you need to know that your team is also duplicating and doing the same thing. And when it gets to a point when your team members are telling you about the calls, that's when you know you are going full speed ahead. And then when your team members is excited and telling you, hey, did you get your ticket for the Las Vegas event or the Atlanta event or whatever event is coming up? Guess what? You on track. And that's the members that you want to really spend your time with and work with. So that's just one of my tips that I don't like to give you. But um, Pam did just an awesome job. I just can't, um, you know, I'm very thrilled. I can't get over, you know, all the nuggets that she gave. But, uh, you know, I hope you really took some copious things because I know I did. But guess what? I get to hang with Pam. So you know, anything I missed, I'm definitely going to get. But without further ado, what we're going to do, and I'm going to bring up somebody that's really near and dear to my heart. Um, you can't say nothing about this man. I'm the only one that can tell him off, you know, get with him. He's my brother. <laughs> but he is my mentor. He is my BFF, my business friend for life. We go back eight years. He is somebody that I, I literally, I, mean, I, I, I could have cried, you know, when I seen my first skinny body check. Only because I gave this man so much heart. You know, I gave him a hard time about skinny body. Because, you know, he was like, you know, two years ago, he said, listen, Des, you need to come over here. And I'm like, man, I ain't got time for no skinny body. I got a skinny body. Why do I need some skinny body? So he kept saying, Des, I know you starving over there in that other company. And of course, I probably was a little starving, but I couldn't let him know. You know, that's my big brother. I just couldn't let him know. I couldn't swallow my pride, you know, when I came over, you know, before I could come over to this company. And I had my reasons why I couldn't come. But of course, I would have came to this company without him selling me on anything or telling me about this company. I would have just came just because who he is. He is the guru of compensation plans. He is someone that when anybody ever brings a business to me, I just give it to him. I say, take a look at this. And then he'll just say, no, that's garbage, Des. No, don't do that, Des. No, that. Sometimes I think he'd be a little bit too hard on some of the companies, but guess what? At the end of the day, he was right. He was right. So, but he is somebody that, again, I have so much respect for in this industry. He's been around in the industry. Um, I call him my big brother, even though I am older than him. I'm his older sister for real. <laughs> but he is the big brother, you know, when it comes down to knowing the information, having the knowledge. He's my mentor. He is somebody who is fun. He 
He's loving. He's considered the bad cop when he's with me because I'm the good cop. So when we be together, you know, I'm the one that pick up the people that he kind of knocks down because sometimes people can't take his coaching. I'm a person that loves his coaching because I'm the one that I need to just be told what to do and I don't need nothing else. Just give me what I need to do and I'm going to take it to the top. And that's what he is. He's a person that will give it to you with no chaser. I gave him a name called the Terminator. I'm going to bring up the man of the hour who has positioned himself on the other side of the money. And when I tell you, he has positioned himself in this company on the other side of the money. And I'm going to let him come up and just briefly tell you his story a little bit. But he is no other than... A.K.A. Mr. Terminator, Mr. Tim Miller, come on down. privilege and honor to introduce someone that has uh, become very dear to me and my family. Uh, it all started three and a half years ago. I was actually the number one earner in the company that Des decided to stay with way too long and I kind of put myself out there a little bit that I was looking for a new home. And it's funny in this industry when you make a name for yourself how many companies want to recruit you. Because right. they know that you can bring a team with you. And I had several companies offer me deals, clients, uh, cash, all kinds of crazy stuff. But those compensation plans literally didn't sit well with me because I have to be a part of something where the average person can win. It's not just about me. I could get involved in probably any company in this industry and make money. But I tell people all the time that all money is not good money. And a lot of this stuff you see out there on the internet, man, it's just getting ludicrous if you ask me, uh, the stuff that's going on. But there was a lady who was an absolute internet junkie, would send me a new deal every other week. Literally, I used to hate to see her email. But one day, I guess I was looking, she sends something about skinny body care. I'm like, whatever. And I'll never forget, I went in, being nosy, and I put in my name, well, I didn't put in my name, I put in a fake name. <laughs> and I put in my email address. And all of a sudden, I start receiving these emails from Flower Mound, Texas, I believe. I said, that's that Ben Galinsky dude. <laughs> it's gotta be. So I decided to look into it a little further and I began to break down the compensation plan. And the more I looked at it, the more I loved it and hated it because it was an impossibility. It's something I'd never seen before. I'm not gonna go through complex, I don't have a lot of time here, but when I saw a company paying out over 80% on the front end and over 70% on the back end, I said, this man is absolutely out of his mind. This is not gonna work, he's gonna be out of business. It's no way a company can you know, be solid hang around that long, paying up those type of margins. So I contacted someone, I said, I need to talk to this guy, this Ben dude. I did some research on Ben. I went to this thing called Google, and I put in Ben Glinsky's name. Why did I do that? Nothing was good about this man. He was a scammer. He'll take your money, he won't pay you. But what was funny is I knew all of the internet marketers that were posting that stuff and they were all garbage. <laughs> so I didn't get caught up in it. I, I, something about this comp plan, I need to look a little deeper. But anyway, I got on the phone with Ben and I asked him some, some serious questions because when I move, I don't, and you take it in the way you want, I don't believe in multiple forms of income. 
I don't because I believe in each and every one of you. And if I want to build a team, I have to be here for you guys. You know, I can't be out here selling three and four different programs trying to pay my bills. It's not about me. So I was serious when I talked to Ben and I asked him some basic, basic questions. And the first question was, how are you able to pay out 80%? This makes no sense. I've been in companies with different kinds of pay plans. You break it down, they're paying out 30 40% if you hit the top levels, that sort of thing. This company was paying out 80% real money. And I asked him, how in the world are you able, going to be able to pay out this 80% and maintain it? And he said, well, Tim, think about it. I don't have a corporate office. I never heard that before. I mean, what do you mean, dude? You work from home? He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then he started telling about his customer service reps. I want to know where's your customer service department. Oh, they're at home too. <laughs> like, what, what do you mean they're at home? Well, they work from home. We just ride it out. We use technology. I pay them real good money, so they do an excellent job. <laughs> then I asked him a real important question. I said, how long do you plan to build this? And he said something to me I never forget. He said, I want this to be my last run. I want this to be, I want to be done. And that's what I was looking for. I want to be done. And once I got over that pink bottle and weight loss, something I stayed away from, even though legends in the industry like my mentor is Dale Calvert, who is here. You hear from him a little bit. A guy by the name of Richard Call made $50 million in the industry, and they would always tell me, Tim, you need to find a real product that people believe in. And I never listened to him. I did the, I did the service deals, the travel deals, etc. And I said, I'm going to run with this thing. And I literally went to work, and Ben started paying on time every week. And if you were broke as I was, that's a good feeling. <laughs> a very good feeling. But then I got to know his heart. He was going skiing. Y'all hear what I just said? Skiing. Do I look like somebody that skis? <laughs> But he, he invited me out, and I gambled with it. My wife wanted to get me out the house. She actually pushed me to go on that trip. She said, you need to go. I'm like, Shakita, he said, skiing. <laughs> but I decided to go, and I really got to see the type of person he was behind the scenes. And when you're around him, he doesn't like to talk a whole lot of business. He spends a lot of time with his, his wife and his beautiful kids. I mean, it'll blow your mind. And the rest has been history. Because we've been here three and a half years, guys. I want you to really understand what you're doing. You've you got to understand when you leave here today where, where this company is going. Each and every one of you have an opportunity to become financially free. And I'm telling you, we have an owner of this company that wants you to win. You have to understand that. He's not selfish. The man's self-made. But what drives him is to see in this company really get in this marketplace and show it how it's supposed to be done the right way. The right way. Because we've seen these, he calls them, what do you call them, the regurgitated marketers? <laughs> Let's go from one company to the other, team to team, it gets nuts. But when you get a taste of earning true residual, who in here is getting residual income? And I'm not talking the ridiculous amount. Well, an extra thousand, two thousand, five thousand dollars a month, could that change somebody's life? Yes. I've never seen nothing like this company where people come in here making more money than that and quit. It's crazy. Because all of a sudden they think they're superstars, and if they can do it in skinny body, they can do it somewhere else, and that's why we see so many of them come back. So be careful when people leave your organization, just give them a happy goodbye. Don't beat them up. <laughs> many of them come back. And we'll say, Tim, I should have listened. I said, yeah, you should have listened. <laughs> we have something special here. And I hope you really feel that. I've been in the trenches, guys. I've been doing this 23 years. I've done the dog and pony show. I've seen the good, the bad, the ugly. And the last company I was in, the super ugly. <laughs> Especially talking from an ownership level. You just don't know what's out here. 